The number of electric vehicles on the road is set to dramatically increase by 2035. This will mean a significant expansion of charging infrastructure to meet the demand. The number of electric vehicles on the road is already growing and the pace of growth is expected to increase. Electric vehicle charging is grouped into three levels. Level three is the fastest, delivering the most energy, but at significant installation cost. Depending on location, all in costs may exceed $100,000 per charge point. Level two is mid-range, appropriate for some commercial locations or at home when more significant energy charging is needed. Commercial installation costs can average $6,000 to $20,000. Level 1 charging is often dismissed due to low energy delivery and slow charge times. But Level 1 charging takes advantage of existing infrastructure and can be quickly implemented, which dramatically reduces costs. Minor retrofits to existing wiring may be required at a minimal cost. In Canada, and particularly across the prairies, many parking lots have vehicle heater plugs. Level 1 EV charging can utilize this infrastructure with minor modifications. Existing vehicle heater plugs are designed for use in the winter. Most have hardware on the circuits to control when the plug comes on. These controls are most commonly one, for a set temperature, and two, an on-off time rotation. They are on a timer. The temperature controls will allow the plug to turn on only when it is below a certain temperature, often minus 15 degrees Celsius. Warmer than this and the plugs are off. The time controller splits all of the plugs into groups and rotates power to the groups at a set time interval. This limits how much power is required to feed the entire parking lot. This helps to reduce the electrical service size reducing initial installation costs, but also means that two-thirds of the plugs are off at any given time in the winter. When retrofitting existing vehicle heater plugs to level one EV charging plugs, you must remove all of the existing controls on the circuit to allow continuous charging while plugged in. Depending on the number of retrofitted EV plugs, you may need to recalculate the service and parking lot feeder loads to ensure all infrastructure can handle the new load. The existing outlet is most often a 15 amp duplex receptacle. This must be changed to a single 20 amp plug. Increasing the outlet amp means you must confirm that the existing wiring and circuit breaker are appropriately sized to handle the new 20 amp plug. New wiring and a new circuit breaker may be needed. These upgrades can cost on average $300. If retrofitting only a few plugs in a parking lot, the existing electrical installation should be able to accommodate the increased electrical load without issue. If, however, you plan to convert an entire parking lot to accommodate level one EV charging, a more significant electrical system upgrade will be needed, incurring larger costs. In a typical workday, level one charging can provide enough vehicle range to employees to manage their daily commute often without additional charging needed. Estimated energy costs for this amount of charging is between one to three dollars per vehicle per day. Typically, energy used from vehicle heater plugs is not charged to the end user, but commercial products are available for point of sale charging to recoup energy costs. Significant charging infrastructure will need to be installed to accommodate the anticipated dramatic increase in electric vehicles on the road by 2035. Workplace EV level one charging could be a low cost, quickly implemented solution to help enable this transition.